Keep being tough on the crime and tough on the root causes of crime. Fighting violence and pulling out the roots that help it grow. Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney addressing his plan to get tough on crime. You're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. Following Tuesday's tragic events, 8 News is taking action, pushing for answers on what exactly is being done by city leaders to prevent further violence. 8 News reporter Cheyenne Pagan spoke with Mayor LeVar Stoney today about some of the ways the city plans to address this ongoing issue. She's joining us live now from Monroe Park, the scene of the city's most recent deadly shooting. With his response, Cheyenne, you were getting to the heart of exactly what those plans are. That's right, Deanna Eric. I did ask Mayor Sony about some of the ways they plan to tackle violence this summer, and he says there's a couple of different approaches. <laughs> Just hours after the sound of bullets rang outside of the Altria Theater on Tuesday, Mayor Stoney addressed the city of Richmond in its darkest hour. Is nothing sacred any longer? The most recent shooting at Huguenot High's graduation ended with an 18-year-old and his stepfather dead, plus five others injured. This deadly celebration and other violent crimes this year are now making pleas for action by city leaders more urgent. We put more money into violence prevention and intervention. We asked Stoney what exactly his office has planned to stop this increase in violence. Here's what he had to say. We believe being tough on the crime and tough on the root causes of crime. And so our police department is, is still highlighting those hot spots that are around the city and we're making investments in time and presence there. Then there's Operation Safe Summer, a separate initiative by the police department to curb violent crimes. For about a month, details about the program have been vague, but this is what we're told is set to kick off this weekend. Well, it's a, a, a department wide effort by uh, the Richmond Police Department to focus on obviously in partnership with uh, other agencies to ensure that our kids have a safe summer, but they actually have an opportunity to have fun in their neighborhoods as well. I also spoke with interim chief of police Rick Edwards just a few weeks ago about the increase of violence in the city. What we're seeing are people that have easy access to firearms that that are uh, with low impulse control, and before they know it, what should be a fist fight turns into a gunfight. City leaders are hoping with initiatives like Operation Safe Summer and their recreation programs and violence interrupters finally rolling out, they can help put a stop to the violence before it even starts. But also we're making a lot of investment in making sure our kids have activities that keep them out of trouble. Okay. <laughs> We'll be following up with the Richmond Police Department and the city to see what resources are dedicated to each of these programs and how many children are being impacted by them. For now, reporting live in Richmond, Cheyenne Pagan, 8 News.